Hello everyone! As you know, I'm mostly focused on drawing and creating new characters. It's my passion, but sometimes it might be hard to come up with new ideas and ways of creating characters. So here's a few challenges for you to create even more amazing characters. I tried this one recently and it was really, really fun. Go to your fridge and your cupboards and choose one ingredient. It can be anything you want. Lettuce, eggs, cereals, cookies, you name it. Pick something that you think looks fun and draw a character based on that. It will challenge you into drawing new things and boost your creativity and imagination. If you want to leave your comfort zone, then give this one a try. Besides food, you can also do the same thing but with random objects in your house. A lamp, a chair, a brush, a fork, anything goes. You'll see that you can turn anything into a character. Next we have character generators. If you look up on Google, quite a few will appear. I don't use this a lot, but I've played a bit with character slash generator as well as Bardot brush. The first one is built a bit more towards writing, but it's really descriptive and you can definitely draw characters with the descriptions you're given. You can go with a quick profile or you can build your character with more complex informations and then you'll have a description about your character. The second one is much simpler but really fun, you only have three options to choose from and for each one you'll get a different prompt. It gives you really creative ideas so give it a try, you'll never know what you're going to get. Another option is to create your own character generator. So I have here a very simple character generator list, so you can use that one. But basically, you just need to create a list with different traits and use a die. Simply roll the die, check the numbers and draw whatever the list tells you. In this case, we have three lists here, so you're going to have a total of three traits. You roll your die, you see what you get and once you cut those traits, you create a character based on that. I think that character generators are perfect when you're stuck and have no idea what to draw because it will be giving you exactly what you're lacking, the idea. Now you just need to create it. Another fun thing you can do is look up outfits, for example on Pinterest, and create a character based on that. I have a board full of outfits for when I need them and sometimes they serve as inspiration and others I just really want to draw them and try to think of a character that would enjoy wearing that. With just an outfit, I can not only think about how my character would look like but create a whole story for them and even figure out their personality. I know I usually recommend thinking about the character, writing them down and only after that to think and do some research for outfits that fit them, but sometimes it's nice and fun to mix things a little bit, a change of pace from the usual process that can end with really fun results. Now have I said prompts yet? No? Well then, here it is, character prompts. This couldn't miss in this video. Again, if you're out of ideas and want to try something new and possibly out of your comfort zone, then character prompts are perfect. I have one right here with very simple prompts, but they can result in very fun characters. You can also just go on Google and search for character prompts and you'll find a bunch of lists that you can use and take inspiration from. Prompts can be really helpful since they will offer you something really important, an idea, just like character generators will do. The idea can sometimes be the hardest part when trying to draw something, and if you're out of ideas or going through art block, prompts are surely the way to go. Finally, you can join and participate in other kinds of drawing challenges. There's always art challenges on social media or you can create your own. For example, you can ask your followers to help you out, create polls with different traits and options, check the votes and create a new character based on the winning traits. This is a really fun challenge that will let your followers join in the fun as well. Then there's also character design references, you can find them on Facebook, Twitter and Pinterest as well as their own website. They have not only amazing references, but also host a challenge every month. 
Each month you have a different theme and you have to create a character based on it. It's a really nice group and the challenges are always fun to work with. There's a lot of challenges around, seek them out, see what piques your interest and join the ones that inspire you. As always, what's important is to have fun and enjoy the whole process. For that reason, I hope you've enjoyed this video, like and subscribe if you did, and as always, keep on drawing!